What's going on, Uncle? Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe, I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very okay. annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. Oh. <laughs> Why would I have to drink the coffee? I have to move stuff. Don't get drunk, you piece of crap. <laughs> Uncle, come on. Oh, there's a bird in there. I was gonna put it on the birds. Weird again. Stay there, it's okay. Well, you did something useful at least, Uncle. Since it's getting kind of hot in here. Let me have a rule and a song. I wonder if it was a glitch. I don't think so. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail. Now nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow, in the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever I wonder if I'm gonna get copyrighted with this music Anyway, I'm just gonna keep it, that's fine We're together <laughs> Uncle Nice! Building a house needs real patience. And I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> John Marston, 
You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. He's Thank not. you. <laughs> I don't think he's going to stay. He's going to go Gentlemen, somewhere. Gentlemen, to this happy home. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> Mr. Abigail? My darling Abigail. I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is... I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Also met Charles. Charles Smith has also appeared, and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Wait, that didn't Please, happen. come back to me. That didn't happen! The Here's thing on the river, this. that's bullcrap. John. I think it was a glitch. I went there and was like, let's go back. A few days later. Okay. Hope she does come back. Oh, cowboy builder. Trophy. Hey, my original outfit again. I was planning on wearing it, wearing it again. Nice. Beautiful. Wait, that's the skull I got for the camp, oh, right? Oh, I thought you was... Where the hell? Gold. Aha. Uh -huh. Charles, you're in here? This leads. Well, somewhere. Hey, Uncle, you are, where are missing. you? What are you doing up there? You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners? No. Seems quiet. Good. Maybe that was all of them. No, 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 don't be so sure. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So, that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming. 
Ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. No, you need a cow. With any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. A barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. Why do I feel like we're gonna leave Charles alone and this is something In really bad board. going to happen? Let's go. Good morning, my friend. Oh, you thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube, doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it, cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. Thinking about it, uh, I might actually do this on my own. That's you, is it? With your famous way with people? You're in enough debt as it is. I gotta help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. <laughs> Down to Rich New see my iron ore up at Miller's, so. Even this is him. Don't I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed about what happened in the previous video that uh, the guys that I saw that he grabbed the woman and didn't pay attention to what he was doing. It was so dark, dude. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn. Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been a sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just really? wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you. And David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but I, this <laughs> man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Oh, hey. Sadie! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing. Uh, you up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. Alright, the Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll stay that way. An encyclopedia salesman was up there, on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Well, that was from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Is Hold it a place for someone? Somehow. And 
we're gonna get to him first. Sadie! Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo guy. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios, and some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeak. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. I don't trust this for here. some reason. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come, come! Oh, 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 oh! Don't fight it! Just drift away. Get him. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. There's gonna be someone backing him up. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. And why did I put him in Sadie's horse? Rose. It's different there now. Yeah. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll be you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Hmm. Maybe we should we'll throw you. To the sheriff, and we go there and get the money, you know. <laughs> That's the info, idiots. Oh no, I forgot to grab my hat. Oh my god, it seems like Rose is really far away. Still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. 
Is this Bring where Sean died? Me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Made it, girl. Mr. Sheriff? Not even a million Mr. dollar Sheriff, bitch. Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him. So Something is not right. Something's gonna happen. We can get him out of here. Sure. I uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Yeah, he's waiting someone to, to get him out of there, I think. Like I said. Whoa, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. Still lumos. Cortez, you son of a bitch. Get the frick out of here. Oh, come on. Let's run these cowards out of town. I was worried about the dynamite man exploding. Out of my face and Sadie's. Unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Fine. Let's go, Jim Milton. Come on. Yeah, I knew it. This is that was not gonna be that easy. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. He okay. got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. 
Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. Yeah, I, I know. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. A fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Huh? before we do anything. Come on. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. <laughs> Last time you didn't die. do that well, Besides, Sadie, with Arthur. Those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. Oh my god, I'm worried about, sure about right this. Now. Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Yeah, you could have. That rifle is kind of weak. Get 
Ow, 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 ow. Oh, come on! Die, you piece of shit! I didn't die, wow. What's up with the music? Oh, hold your horses, chica. What's up with the music? Get out of there! <laughs> oh my god. I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. <sighs> hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down! Oh. Oh. Ow, ow, you want you to take cover, John Monaston. They keep coming, all right. Just me. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. We're going for a ride. Ah. It's about time we collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman! And you are a dead man! The De Lobos will not forgive this! <laughs> uh, how do I get up there? We will find you! And we will kill you! You! And anyone who is close to you! I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. Okay, okay. Let's all Anyway, what were you talking about? Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, well, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita Hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Cause you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. 
Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. <laughs> What the? What did I? What did I hit? Did they remove that dead body since we left? Oh my God! There was a lot of dead bodies. Let's just finish this. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I see you again. We got him, sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <clears throat> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. What the hell? Why is this loading? Ah, uh, I wanted to go to the barber. Ah, uh, why? I wanted to go to the barber. I was just there. Abigail's back, maybe? No, she's not. Huh? 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 Oh, look at this. It's getting better now. And this is my bedroom. I saw the water. I thought you could take a shower in here or something. Oh well. Wait, there is a shower here. But this is where Uncle sleeps. Okay, let's see what Uncle. Um, wait, there's the barn. It's getting ready. Cool. Let's go meet Uncle in the next episode. So, see you then.